In this video, I'll show how to typeset natural deduction proofs in LaTeX using ProofPack. So what we'll do to start everything off is go to this GitHub link. Um, I'll put it in the description below. But what you'll want from this particular link is this proofpack.sty. So what you'll want to do is go ahead and copy all this. So you can just hit Control A and Control C, but I, you can also go over here and click Copy Raw File. So let's go ahead and copy that. Now I'm going to illustrate how to do this in Overleaf, but you could also just download this Proofpack style file and put it in your packages folder where you run LaTeX. But just for the purpose of like the easiest illustration, the, what we're going to do is open up overleaf.com. You could sign up for free if you don't have an account and start up a blank project. Let's call this proof pack test. So we'll create this real quickly. Now that we have our created file here, we want to go ahead and click new file and we want to type proof pack.sty. And now that we have this proof pack sty, we want to click on it and then copy and paste our content that we got from the GitHub website. So it should be all of this stuff. Uh, alternatively, you could download it and then upload the file that works just as well. And now you see we have all of our code in this STY file. Let's go back to main, then click the hide file tree. So we're gonna hide that left panel. And then the first thing we wanna do is type in use package and the package we want to use is, as you could probably guess, proof pack. Uh, I'm going to add one more package here, which is par skip, but you know, this is not necessary at all. All right. So now that we have our proof pack package installed, let's go down to our introduction and start using proof pack. So what we're going to do is just to type set some proofs. Now, the way you do this is to, and I'm gonna assume you don't know a whole lot of LaTeX or, or much of any, right after this section introduction here, right after it says begin document, we will type backslash begin, and then you have three environments that the proofs are housed in. Uh, the first one is S deduce. So you'll type in uh, this like cur open curly brace, S deduce, and then we need to close s deduce. So we'll put backslash end s deduce. Alrighty. So this is where our proof is going to be housed inside of, inside of this begin s deduce. Let me zoom in just a little bit more. To typeset the proof, you're going to typeset it like you would a table. If you don't know how to typeset a table, that's fine. Uh, we'll just kind of, I'll walk you through it. The way natural deduction proofs get Typeset is you have a column for numbers, a column for the proof itself, and then a column usually for justification. In the S deduce environment, which stands for short deduction or short proof, you that all the numbering is taken care of. So you just need to focus on the latter two columns. So let's go ahead and put start with the first column. So let's just write P wedge Q. So this is going to be similar to, it's just gonna say P and the symbol for and and then Q. And then to separate the columns, you'll use the ampersand. And then we'll put a justification in this right hand column. Let's just write P to indicate that it is a premise. And then to finish this line of the proof, we'll put backslash backslash. Let's put two more lines. Let's write P um, and then we'll put uh, ampersand. Let's say this is also a premise backslash backslash, and then this will be our third line. Let's say P right arrow. Uh, let's actually say Q, and we'll put ampersand, and then let's give this a justification. Let's say this is from line one, and it's the result of using wedge elimination. We're going to put this um, what we have here in side these dollar signs to indicate that this is going to be uh, math. And then we'll put backslash backslash. Now, now that we've done this, if we go ahead and compile it, you can hit control S or you can press this recompile up here. I'm gonna hit control S. We should see our typeset proof. Let me zoom in on that. There we go. We have our, each line of the proof is numbered. 
we have our middle column, which is an array or um, typeset for math, and then we have our right column there. Okay, alrighty, so let's uh, sub typeset another proof here. We're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna type begin and then s deduce. Uh, now that we've done this once, Overleaf kind of knows that we want to, what we want to do. And we're gonna typeset another proof. And if you've ever done proofs and natural deductions, one of the things that you might have to do is make an assumption. So how do you do that? For this, we're gonna use a command. And there are two commands to start a subproof. The first way to do it is to write backslash hype. And then you will put brackets, square brackets, and then set the depth of your subproof. So we wanna just make one, our depth to be one. So we only wanna go in one level. And so we'll just put one. If you don't write anything, the automatic depth is one. So if you didn't write anything there and then started typing your proof, there would be a depth of one. But let's go ahead and be explicit about it. So then let's go ahead and make an assumption. Let's say our assumption is P. We'll use the ampersand again to start a new column. And then our justification is A, let's say for assumption. Now let's say we did wanted to do some more reasoning in this subproof here. For that, we are going to use the word sub. And we will also want to specify the depth, how deep we want to place this formula. And let's say we want to reiterate this P. So we'll put P and then put R for reiter reiteration, backslash, backslash. And then let's say we want to exit this subproof. We can do that by writing P, not putting any of the commands before that. Let's put right arrow uh, P. And then let's, oops. Um, I'm just gonna move this just so it's easier to see. Let's put our justification here, and our justification in this case is, let's just say it's lines one to two, and we used right arrow I, backslash, backslash. So now what we should expect to see is we start the subproof with this hype, then we continued on in the subproof by using sub, and then we exited the subproof, so we should be moving out. We're no longer in this level of one depth. So let's go ahead and click save. And that's what we have here. We have P, which is indented a little bit, and there's a, this vertical line that's often used to indicate subproofs, and then it closes with P, right arrow P. Now let me give you one more example. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this whole thing. Let's say in some textbooks you have a little line that goes underneath that P. So let's, in order to do that, instead of writing, instead of writing HYP, we'll write HYPL. So HYP stands for abbreviation for hypothesis, where HYPL is basically hypothesis with a line. And so what we'll see here is that when we hit recompile, it will put a line underneath that initial assumption that we make. And we could continue on, let's say we make two more lines here, we recompile, we see that it's typesetting these P's within this uh, first depth subproof. Okay, so we looked at the short deduction or S deduce environment. Let me show you another environment that is a part of this proof pack. If you write begin and instead of S deduce or standing for short deduce, we put M deduce. So we put begin and then in those curly brackets, we put M deduce. We wanna end M deduce as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and typeset our proof, but M deduce stands for manual deduction. And in this case, we will write down the lines for the first column. So the automatic numbering is not turned on. So in this case, we could write one, and then we could put and, and then write, let's say P, right arrow, Q, and then we'll have to put our justification, which P, backslash, backslash, and then we could say line two, P, and let's say this is also a premise, and then our line three here. Uh, actually, let's set this to a different number. Let's say it's line 56, and we could write Q, and then we would put the ampersand one, uh, lines one, two, and then we can go ahead and write R right arrow E for right arrow elimination. And then if we go ahead and compile, 
you should see we have line one, line two, and then line 56 right there, which is uh, numbered explicitly by our M deduce environment. And we could do the same thing with respect to this HYP command and HYPL and the sub. So for example, let's say at line, let's add a line here. Let's say at line 45, we make an assumption. Let's say it's HYPL, and then we could say depth of one, and we made our assumption, which was phi. If we went ahead and compile this, you could see that we have this assumption. Let me zoom in a little here. We have this assumption at line 45 where we indent from the proof and start this subproof. And of course, if we wanted to uh, set the depth further, let's say at line, I don't know, 55, we have another hypothesis and this hypothesis is at a level of three. We should see this, let's call this one psi. This psi here will be at a subproof level of three. So if we go ahead and hit save, you see that there are one subproof, two subproofs, three subproofs, so we're indenting three times. So we looked at the S deduce environment, we looked at the M deduce environment, and let's look at one last more one is L deduce. And just as before, we have the begin L deduce and N and L deduce. And this one stands for long deduce. Now there's nothing really Mm, it doesn't have to be long. All the L deduce environment does is that it allows the proof to break across the page. So if you have, a, for example, a long proof, and let me zoom out from this, our compiled here. Let's say we're getting to the end of the page here, and we want our proof to go to the bottom of page one and then go to the next page. This would be a case where maybe we would want to use the L deduce environment. And we would type set the proof in the exact same way. So let me just copy a little bit from above here. Let's say, let's take this where we have a bunch of P's and we will hit control V to paste all that. And let's say we make another line, which is P right arrow, P again. Oh, let's make this something different. Let's just say it's phi right arrow, phi. And let's just make up a rule for this. Let's just call it magic rule and we'll put backslash backslash. Oh, I was, I was trying to show an error here, but what we need to do is put all of this in the L deduce environment. And now I'm gonna hold alt and then shift and then the down key and just put this line a whole bunch of times to create a humongous proof. So now when I hit a control S to recompile, you see that, okay, we start line one, line two, line three, which was the proof from here. And then we start with our magic rule to line seven. And instead of trying to figure, like bleeding onto the margin here or trying to move it to the next page, it just breaks across the page to page two and then onward to page three. So there are plenty of other features of proof pack, but I just wanted to highlight these three main environments in case you are planning on doing your logic homework or just interested in using this package.